Hello Year 3, welcome to part 2 of measuring the perimeter of different shapes. So far we've looked at rectangles and now I'm going to show you how to measure the perimeter of this shape which is a square. Now the special property of a square is that once you know the length of one side, in this case 6 centimetres, then you know the length of all of the other sides as well because the four sides of a square are exactly the same length. So you could label each one of those six centimetres. I'm not going to because I've labelled one side already and I know that all the sides are exactly the same length. So to find the perimeter, what I need to do is add up four lots because there are four sides four sides of six centimetres. Now, you could do that by adding them all together. A much quicker way is to use your times tables knowledge and to do a multiplication. So the multiplication we would need to do would be four lots of six centimetres. Now, you might look at that calculation and think, I'm not very confident with my six times table. But what you can do is you can turn the calculation around. So what you would have instead is six times four. And we know our four times table, six times four is 24. So the perimeter of the square would be 24 centimetres. Okay. The last example I'd like to show you is this one here and this one I'm showing you because it links to some of the website work we've set for you to do where it asks you to round the length of the sides to the nearest centimetre before you calculate the perimeter. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I need my ruler and I need to measure very carefully the length of this long side. And I can see that it is nine whole centimeters and three little millimeters. So top side of the rectangle is 9.3, which means that this lower side is going to be 9.3 centimeters as well. If I turn my rectangle around, I can measure the short side and I can see that it is four whole centimetres and eight millimetres. So that would be 4.8 centimetres there and 4.8 centimetres there. Now, if the question asks you, to round the length of the sides before you add them together to find the perimeter, we need to use this knowledge over here that I've written down. When we are rounding numbers, what we do is we look at the number which is on the right-hand side. I'll start with 9.3. So 3 is the number on the right-hand side. And because it's number 3, which is in this list of numbers here, I'm going to round down to the whole centimetre that comes before 9.3. In this case, before 9.3 comes 9 centimetres. So actually, I'm going to cross out that and put 9 centimetres there because I've rounded 9.3 down to 9 centimetres. For my short side, we can see it's 4.8 centimetres. And looking at the number on the right-hand side, which is the 8, in this list here, we can see that if a number ends with an 8, we have to round up to the next whole centimetre. So the centimetre after 4 centimetres is 5 centimetres. So I'm going to change that measurement there to 5 centimetres. I've rounded 4.8 up to 5 centimetres. So now, the measurements that I need to add together are 9 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5. And if I do that, I'm going to be able to work out the perimeter. I would probably start with the 5 and 5, um, because I know straight away that that makes 10. 
and cross out my five and five and I will jot down 10. I also know that nine plus nine is 18. So I'm gonna jot that down as well. And then it should be very easy to do 18 plus 10 or 10 plus 18, it is 28. So the perimeter of this last rectangle here is 28 centimeters. Okay, I hope that's helped you and I hope you're able to get on with the work on the website as best you can. There are some activities and games on Education City as well to help you out and um, hopefully you have fun working with Perimeter.